Helena was a spiritual adept, writer, seeker of truth, and the main inspiration behind the founding of the Agni Yoga Society. This society drew on Vedic and Buddhist traditions, as well as the writings of Madame Blavatsky and Theosophy. She was born to a well-to-do aristocratic family. Her father was architect academician Ivan Shaposhnikov, and her mother was a Katerina, born Gonelisheva Kutusova, granddaughter of the great field marshal. Through her maternal line, Helena was a distant relative of the famous Russian composer M. Musugorsky. By the age of seven, Helena could read and write in three languages. She was also a brilliant pianist and received an extensive musical education. Helena met the young painter Nicolas Roerich in 1899 at the estate of her aunt, Princess Putyatina. They shared a deep spiritual bond and would marry two years later. She was a strong speaker on behalf of the equality of sexes. In March 1929 she wrote, the approaching great epoch is closely connected to the ascendancy of woman. As in the best days of humanity, the future epoch will again offer woman her rightful place alongside her eternal fellow traveler and co-worker, man. You must remember that the grandeur of the cosmos is built by the dual origin. Is it possible, therefore, to belittle one element of it? She translated the secret doctrine into Russian and also claimed to receive regular communications from Master Murya, the master of Madame Blavatsky. Her first book, received from him, was The Leaves of M's Garden, 1924. In her letters, Helena clearly defines the difference between a clairvoyant and the medium. A clairvoyant is one who has raised the spinal serpent into the brain and by his growth earned the right of perceiving the invisible worlds with the aid of the third eye, or pineal gland. The clairvoyant can become such only after years, sometimes lives, of self-preparation. On the other hand, the medium may secure results in a few days. Helena continued to receive telepathic communication from Master Moria and wrote 13 books of Agni Yoga, also known as Teaching of the Living Ethics, over a period of 17 years. 1920 to 1937. She also wrote several volumes of letters. The Agni Yoga Society was founded in the mid-1920s, beginning informally as a group of students who gathered to study her book, Leaves of M's Garden. From 1924 to 1928, Helena joined her husband on a difficult expedition in search of Shambhala. She was the only woman who passed the whole extremely difficult itinerary. After Nicholas passing in 1947, Helena strived to return to Russia. None of her appeals and submissions to the Soviet embassy were answered. She died October 4, 1955.